Rotting Acres Mall. Here we go. It is going to load it right. There we go. Okay. So just a quick recap um, for people that are new or maybe missed the last episode. You're looking at Rotting Acres Mall. Uh, we Last episode, we added a new anchor store, which was Kmart. That was voted on on Twitter. I hope you're playing this game on a Windows night. I am playing it on a Windows 98 machine. Hold on. Hopefully this doesn't make anybody nauseous, but let me grab the, the webcam real quick, but I'll just, I'll show you what I'm playing on so you can see. I'm actually playing it on a, on a CRT monitor on a Windows 98, Windows 98 machine. Sitting right next to this Windows 98 machine is a DOS Windows 3.1 machine. Anyways, so getting back to this, so we added a Kmart as the new anchor that was voted on on Twitter. And then we, what did we add? See, now I'm kind of forgetting what we added. What is this? Oh, we added a GNC and a Victoria's Secret. Oh, and we added an arcade. We had to um, do some mall research and we opened up a mall arcade. So on top of that, we moved the food court places over a little bit. Hey man, you think Sears has any chance, or are they really, dude? I think Sears is doomed. Um, I think, I think after after the first of the year, I think you start to hear about more store closures for Kmart and Sears. Um, we can't add movie theaters. We're not there yet, though. We are gonna eventually add a movie theater to this mall, though. We'll get there. Your Radio Shack's lacking radios. Yeah, well, it's it's because they sell cell phones now. <laughs> so then, as far as our food court goes, we've got a Chick Fil A. Sparrow, an Orange Julius, and a hot dog on a stick. <laughs> and then, uh, what do we got here? Oh, we got our Sears, our Borders, our Fast Fix Jewelry Repair, because you got to have that, our Zales, a KB Toys, which somebody said we should change the way this is spelled. I, I Honestly, I don't know which way is the right way, but we can change it. Because I feel like I've seen it both ways. So there, we'll change that. KB Toys. And uh, we've got our The Warehouse, which is like our radio and TV. Oh, you know what? That's fun. I That should have been like video. Eh, whatever. What's in our Radio Shack then? Gadgets and phones. Yeah, that that's modern day Radio Shack. We'll get a sharper image. Hopefully our, and then we've got a Bed Bath & Beyond. So that's, that's our mall. Now, what we need to do, we're paused right now, time's not running, but uh, we need to do some promotional stuff for our mall. There's this thing over here, if we come here, we can pick promotion. So there's like uh, Easter, which now we don't need that. Um, what we wanna do is the fall promotion, because you can do these in September, October, or November, and currently our mall's in November. So we'll go ahead and run that promotion, and hopefully you should <laughs> No, we're not going to add it. Like, maybe we'll end up with a heavenly massage uh, later on when our mall starts doing poorly, if it does. Um, if you guys aren't don't get the heavenly massage reference, go watch the uh, Papago Plaza tour video. It's, like, I think, like three minutes in or so. But, uh, yeah, we're going to run a November... Uh, what is this here? Runs. It's, a, like, an, a fall promotion. So we'll run that. And uh, so it says down there, special promotion started. So that's cool. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see the screen. <laughs> so what that does when you run a promotion, you'll see our atrium. It's actually like autumn themed now. We should probably run... How much money do we have? Hold on. Let me back out of this. We've got $1,060. And we do have a couple of loans out there too, so... We can see the screen. No, but you can't see the, the CRT I'm looking at. <laughs> so if I pointed things on my CRT, you can't see it. Anyways, so, um, yeah, we've got a little bit of money here. Let's go back to our uh, promotions and stuff. Um, wow, it would be 400 bucks to run a television ad. Wow, for yeah, let's do it. Let's get some customers in here. All right. So we're running a fall promotion in November, and we're gonna run some television ads for our mall. Name it Big Bad Toy Store. 
Yeah, we do need a sun coast. You're right. You're right. We'll get there. That's one. We also don't have a pretzel place right now. This is a mall without a pretzel place. I, I ran a poll on Twitter. So um, a, bit, a little bit in this episode, we will um, we'll add a pretzel place. I need somewhere to safe to set my water where I'm not going to hit it. There we go. All right. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start. If I click down here, we can start mall time. And let's do normal. All right. So we're back. You can see right here we're running. And, oh, see, we're, our customers are increasing. Look at that. Pretty quickly, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Can you do another video game hunt? Last one was pretty neat. Oh, like at Goodwill? Yeah, actually, I, I do want to do um, another one of those pretty soon, actually. For sure. Wow, our, look at that. Now, see, now you guys can see the customer numbers, too, now that my stupid face is not in the way. Wow, time runs by quick. Look at that. We're already past Thanksgiving and stuff. But look at that, though. No, go back up. Sears had the most shoppers this month. Ten. Oh, let's pause. We're into, we're into December now. So... We gotta do Christmas in December, right? No, not that one. Christmas. There we go. Spencer's has always been crap. You know, I I used to really, when I was a kid, I used to really enjoy Spencer's. Um, I guess the trend, like, I started disliking Spencer's about the time that they switched from their signs being the big, like, cool neon signage to that, like garage door spray painted thing I'm just not into that and then the stores that it seems like a lot of the stuff in there became like not that I don't like Pokemon I do like Pokemon but a lot of it seemed to become like Pokemon and Twilight and stuff like that and who gives a crap all right special promotions oh see now we've got Santa Claus in our mall guys I'm gonna put this on slow speed because that that month went by way too fast Hot Topics Minds is Hot Topic. You know, that's an int So, uh, spoiler, I am working on a video about Hot Topic, and I have some really interesting footage of a couple of Hot Topic stores. Um, but there's a lot of actual... I mean, I think Hot Topic's crap and the stuff they sell is crap. Actually, I don't think the store is crap, but I, a lot of the stuff they sell is crap, I think. But um, they've actually made a lot of smart moves business-wise, and so they're not suffering nearly as badly as a lot of other mall retailers. Do you have an arcade... We do have it. It's right there. So here's our... This is our arcade right here. We can zoom in on it. Hey, dude. That kid's roughing up our machine. Did you see that? The song from South Park about how... That's funny. Needs more decoration. Yeah, our mall does need a little bit more more decorations. So, um, there was something else. So, we've got an entrance right here. And then we've got, like, this weird... I, I guess I didn't think this through very well. There's this weird entrance right here, which you can still get in. But I don't... We could probably turn this into, like, a courtyard or something. Hmm. I have an idea. I want to add an entrance here because it makes sense. What's in the food court? Let's take a look. I, I we went over that before, but we can we can look real quick. So right now we've got um, hot dog on a stick, an orange Julius, a Sparrow, and a Chick Fil A. And we do need to add a pretzel place this episode. That also needs to happen. But I think we need to add an entrance over here. I think our mall needs another entrance. Let's see here. Which one do we want? Ooh, that kind of entrance is fancy. Let's do that one. Let's put one there. Why can't I put it there? Do I need to have floor there? Is that why? I bet that's why. 
I gotta try and find this weird red flooring. When we add a second story to this mall, we're gonna do a different, different colored flooring. Before we before we add a GameStop, um, we're gonna add a uh, Babbage's because that was a, that's where I used to buy my computer games and video games when I was a kid at the mall was Babbage's, and I, I miss Babbage's quite a bit. There we go. Now our... I think this is our Kmart. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> that's what we want. <clears throat> yeah, that's our Kmart. Okay, cool. I wanted to add a couple of entrances there. Um, speaking of which, so this is the, the research area, and I think... Are we researching anything? right now because we should be if we're not um, we got stored types I think I we need to do we need Kmart had the most shoppers that Kmart did really novelties eyeglasses huh can we sell video games out the look Funko Land, we, you know, Funko Land, I'm not, I know we had a couple of them out here, but I'm not super familiar with the chain, but I do have a couple of their, um, uh, like those dust, those like cool dust leaves they had for the NES games, like the multicolored ones, I have a few of those. Um, hey, Anonymous, no, you haven't missed anything, well, we added a, a couple entrances and stuff, and we're, whoa, we're into January already, let's pause the game. But hey, we're making money, which is good, and we're at 116 customers. Okay, so we need to add a pretzel place, and I um I don't want to add it by the food court because malls, you know, malls always have pretzel places in random random places. So let me zoom out a little bit here. Where is a good place to add a pretzel place? Hmm. We are definitely going to have to expand our mall, that's for sure. I think we'll add it right here. Let's add a pretzel place right there. Let's put it by Kmart, the pretzel place. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it's not going to be a Wetzel's. We'll... We'll go over that in a second. So I ran a poll on Twitter, and the choices for the for the pretzel place that we were going to add were uh, Wetzel's, Hot Sam, uh, Auntie Anne's pretzels, and uh, the Pretzel Maker. Those are the four that I'm familiar with. Hot Sam has, has been gone for a long time as a chain, but I remember it. Um, and I, I was for sure that like Wetzel's or Hot Sam or something was going to win, but uh, a Auntie Anne's pretzels one so that that's gonna be the pretzel place that we add had a Bob's big boy yeah see hot Sam somebody somebody remembers hot Sam but yeah the Twitter poll uh, Auntie Anne's one so that's what we're gonna go with so let's see here what did I not do right no that's not right either oh build a store okay so it only needs to be the boutique size, and look at that, it fits right there. And then we need to pick the store type, and we want pretzels. So there we go. Oh, and then we need to go into it and name it. The ones that I remember um, first was... Um, Wetzel's and uh, Hot Sam. Like, those I remember from my childhood. A Auntie Anne's came later on, and then, like, the Pretzel Maker, I've seen at other malls, like, in other states and stuff like that, but I don't I don't know if there's any of them in any of the malls in the Phoenix area. I, I might be wrong. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Auntie Anne's Pretzel. So we have a pretzel place now. Let's take a look at it real quick. There it is, Pretzel's. Let's see, we'll close in 20 <laughs> We have a bath, do we have, no, yeah, we have a Bath and Body Works and a GNC. We have both of those already, so our mall will not, the whole mall itself will not close for a while. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button, and that's scary. Alright, I want to see something real quick, though. I want to see, 
can we build a, uh, not an arcade? We can't do computer games yet. How do we, how do we do that? Where is that in the research tree? Let's look. Because we need a Babbage's. Merchandise, right? Yeah. Designer perfumes, hot trends. Novelties? I guess that would be Spencer's. Chinese. Yeah, I don't see... Well, guys, should we do hot trends? Because that will be a hot topic. Or should we do novelties? Because I think that would be Spencer's. We do need to seize candy at some point, too, for sure. What do you think, guys? Novelties or, or uh, hot trends? Is he, uh, so far, it's neck and neck. I'm seeing a couple votes, about the same amount of votes for novelties. There's another hot topic. porn store. We're not there yet, guys. That's a couple of episodes down the road before we start putting uh, Heavenly Massage and Castle Boutique in our mall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that, that, that Hot Topic slash Hot Trends run. Ran, hot, that's hard to say. Hot Topic slash Hot Trends one. So we're researching that now. So let's go ahead and turn on... Oh, also, I think we want to run... Whoop. Do you wish... No, I don't wish to do that. I want that one. What can we run in January? Not that one. No. No. Is there not a promotion that we can run in January? There's not. That's good to know. Okay. Alright. And I don't know that we need to spend any more money on... Advertise. Ah, let's put a billboard up. Yeah, the, none of these. I think I need to. I think I need to do more research. I think there's probably another. There's a thing in the research path. That's what intrigued me most about this game was like the research path. And so that that cracked me up that there was that in this game because uh, I like the original like XCOM games and stuff, and they have that or like Masters of Orion games like that. So I always thought that was an interesting mechanic in this game. All right, let's turn mall time back on. Everybody's moving in slow motion. But, uh, yeah, our customer count's not doing too bad. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do normal speed. So my, I, oh, that's right, my idea over here. I think there's like a play, let me look. I think it's under special structures. Like playground equipment or something. Small restaurant, movie, there's movie theater. Play area, how, how, big, oh, that's like huge. That's not gonna fit in that spot. Jeez, man, that is a, that is a play area. I think we got plenty of bathrooms right now. All right, never mind. Let's do this instead. Let's uh There we go. That's kind of a boring bench. Ooh, I want that. That's what I want. Oh, but I have to put flooring there first, huh? Okay, never mind. This game's so particular about the order you have to do things. Do you remember? Do I remember the show Roseanne? Yes, I totally remember Roseanne. I, I grew up watching that show. Love that show. Um, actually, still watch it too. It's on one of the one of the Air TV channels, and it's we still watch the reruns every now and again. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so we need flooring, I guess, and we need something that looks. Hot trends of the year, vitamins, health food. Well, we have a GNC, so that's good. Research completed on hot trends. That's good. None of these really look... 
outdoor oh oh that's perfect that looks like grass okay cool let's do that why not Your money why don't we do that let's fill this all in with grass there we go okay now actually what we should do Hold on, I got a better idea. Alright, so there's that. Wow, you can get really intricate with the flooring on these places, but look at that. There's like corner and edge pieces and stuff. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, but that that's all... Not, nothing of what I'm looking for. Um, let's see here. Can I just grab this and... I can. That's what I want. Okay. Let's do this. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Actually, let's continue that all the way there. And then we can put. Okay, if we go back here. At least it pauses it while you're building. You have less than five hundred dollars. Oh, I better be careful. I'm. Sp <laughs> I'm. I'm, I'm going to run our mall into the ground real quick. But we need... No, where was that? That's not right. Scenery. Benches. There we go. Um, look, at that, look at that old dude. Now that is fancy. Look at that. And then, uh, cool. no, let's let's see what else we have. So, like flowers. Oh, let's put a fountain out here, too. Is there a small fountain? That's cool. Right on. We made, like, a cool entryway. <laughs> Namco Gaming Arcades. I actually have some tokens from some of their, um, some of their arcades. All right, cool. Let's turn them all time back on. There we go. Our mall's looking pretty busy, guys. I think we're doing pretty good. Can you rotate? The oh, did I do the bench wrong? I yeah. Hold on. I did that last time with something, and I didn't notice it. So. Yep, it's facing the wrong. Yeah, look at the wall. Hold on. Unfortunately, though, it, Kmart was the most profitable store this month. It sounds like we need to raise Kmart's rent, guys. <laughs> you have less than five. I know I have less than five hundred. The bank. Calm down. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to do that. Oh, okay, we only had to move too much. That's good. Mayor? Oh, look, guys, the mayor called our mall an aesthetic asset again. That's good. That's good. Okay, no more blowing stuff up. Uh, let's see here. Benches. Okay, so now... There we go. Okay, now it's facing the right way. Man, that was a lot of money. The Warner Brothers store. I I don't think I remember that. Except for like when I went to um Magic Mountain. Advertising campaign ending. Uh-oh. That right when the advertising campaign ended, the amount of shoppers in the mall drops quite a bit. Alright, speaking of which, where's our Kmart? Because I was I wasn't kidding. It sounds like we need to it sounds like we need to raise the rents a little bit. It sounds like they're not paying their fair share, so. I want... We're only taking 5%. I want... I want 15%. And I want... You're an anchor. You can pay... 60 bucks a month. Thank you! I'm, I'm glad you like it, Arian. Not sure how you say that name exactly. Walden Bookstore. What 
What was the other one I forgot? There was Walden, and then there was like B. Dalton were the two that I remember being in the malls. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, man. We're doing busy. We're doing good. But I think we gotta let some time... Let's see, how's this place doing? How's our pennies doing? And we're taking... Let's see here. Will this show us? We've got 18 stores. What's this? Mall approval rating. Whoa, what happened? Why did our mall have such a bad... What happened? I'll have to figure that out, guys. Oh, there is a patch of grass in the mall. That's that's funny. Let's fix that. Um, Kmart had the most shoppers this month. Why is Kmart doing so well? Kmart was the most profitable store. Awesome. I'm going to go to this red flooring. Where is the red? Did I pass it? I think I passed it. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. Blue light special. Yeah, I guess, man. They are killing it. Um, let's see here. Press agent. Wow. Cleans and fixes even better than your janitor does. That's expensive, though. That's expensive. We have to wait a little bit. Okay, is there a way that we can, let's see here, attract those 243 current shoppers, security guards. Workers. I'm trying to see if there's a way to, like, sort the stores in order of uh, profitability or whatever. And two loans do, too, man. That's rough. What's that? Number of special structures. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Sense. Yeah, I know. The guys, the year thing doesn't really make sense. It, it, it's... Think of it as a alternate reality. <laughs> it's my mall. I can do what I want. Another punk has decided to hang out in your mall. Oh, okay. That's not good. Is that our problem? Hold on. We need security guards. And... Sounds like we need... To hire a few more rent-a-cops, too. Yeah, we'll definitely need to seize candy. We're, we're gonna have to think about... Kmart has had the... Gosh, man, Kmart is just killing it. We're gonna have to start thinking about how to... Best way to expand this. So, I'm thinking... Another anchor over here with some stores, you know, connected by, to the food court. Oh, hey, the mayor says we're in static acid again. What's new? That happens a lot in this game, it sounds like. Needs Paul Blart. Yeah. You have chased the punks away from your mall. Ha! Get out of my mall, punks. Why do I feel like the people that were, the kids that were j said were like me when I, you know, back then? <laughs> Can you add in parking lots? No, it, it doesn't... That's all kind of... I guess I guess the shoppers all just come from the weird 1950s houses that line all the way around the mall. So yeah, in this episode, guys, we added a really cool little nature area with a fountain and some benches and stuff. And we also added... Where is it? We also added a Wetzel's Pretzels that's not part of the food court because you got to have a pretzel place outside away from the food court. So it's not really that far away, but it's enough. Do we only have one set of bathrooms at the mall too? That might be a problem too. Yeah, we only have one set of bathrooms. We have a little bit of extra money now. Let's throw a bathroom into over here. Um... 
weird that bathrooms are under special structures. Bathroom. Okay, where will this fit? Okay, because, yeah, we have the one by the food court, and that makes sense there. Uh, let's stick it here. Yeah. That'll Your work. Money okay, money cool. Low. You have less than 500 in the bank. I know, but we needed a bathroom. Is there a wall there? There's a wall blocking one side. That's funny. Pop up as a false. Yeah, there, and we have a couple kiosks too. There's a few. Let me see. Let me get to them. Right there. There's one and two. It's weird though. I don't think you get any rent or anything for having those in your mall. I think it's more. I think they consider that more of a um, aesthetic thing. I'm gonna freaking put the floor back. There we go. Is there no? Oh, and I gotta add the wall back too. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Dippin' Dots kiosk. I love Dippin' Dots. And you know what's sad is I guess they must have lost the patent on on the Dippin' Dots technology or whatever. Because at a lot of malls lately, I, I forget the name of them now, but there's some whack-ass generic Dippin' Dots brand that I've been seeing. And I'm not having any part of it. I'll only eat Dippin' Dots. Call me a Dippin' Dot snob if you want, but that's that's where I'm drawing the line. Okay, well, but just... I've had... Why would you put the wall there? I've had problems with this before. Getting it to put the wall where I want it. Just put the wall... There we go. Okay, now do the floor. I guess you just have to do things in the right order. I don't like that there's a gap right there. I don't know if that's just bad rendering or if that's actually a problem. Hopefully that's not a problem. Because that's where it fits is right there and the wall should go right to the... Maybe not. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to blow it up because I don't want to waste the money. That wasn't cheap building a bathroom. We'll just deal with it for now, and I'll fix it later when we have some more money. I'll fix it the next time we remodel them all. <laughs> cell phone kiosk with people. Yeah, no, we're not. No, we don't need the annoying cell phone kiosk yet, guys. Our customers are rate is dropping. I mean, the mall looks pretty busy, but are people not shopping in the stores? Oh, speaking of which, it, Orange Julius, I guess, was doing pretty good. So I'm gonna. Need a little, little bit more money out of Orange Julius. Need a massage kiosk. <laughs> Better hit the Persian guy with all the gold chains and rings. Yeah, trying to sell you RC helicopters. I know, Mayor, my mall's an aesthetic asset. Thanks. Well, guys, our mall, for some reason, seems to be in a slight decline already. Oh, hey, thank you, Jones Rodriguez. I appreciate that. But I don't care. I think we did the right thing. We have our our uh, little nice little... Look at how happy she is to, to walk through there. What is that guy doing? He's testing out some chairs. Now, okay, Victoria's Secret doesn't seem to be very busy. I don't see a lot of shoppers in Victoria's Secret. Sparrow had the most shoppers this month. Of course they did, their pizza. JCPenney was the most profitable store this month. Nice. Oh, well, at least our bank account's starting to fill back up again. Any nail places? No, not yet. What do we what do we research? We're not researching anything right now. Um Let's see here. Formal wear, novelties. Can't oh candles, not candies. Tanning salon and hairstyling. We need that. I like our atrium and all. That's a cool fountain. But I like better when it's when it's. You can't do the um the seasonal promotional things unless your mall has an atrium, which is one of the the reasons why I did that. Kmart is failing. Research completed on hairstyling.
kite competition. <clears throat> Mall sleigh ride, that's fun. Mall trains! Somebody somebody brought up something about the mall trains. It looks like we can research that mini golf roller coaster. Holy crap. Train rides around the mall. I didn't know that was a thing all this far back when this game came out. I thought that was relatively newer to... We gotta do that. And sorry about the, the lack of music, guys, this episode, but if you go back and watch it um, when I, when I re-upload this after I clean it up and cut the extra crap out, I'm going to add some music in the background, so it'll be a little bit more interesting. Wow, JCPenney's making some... Holy crap, guys, we got some money. I think we need to... Let's see here. Oh, not, not, not that. The one next to it. What is it? It's September. What promotions can we do in September? Let's do that. And let's do a mail campaign. Let's get some people in the mall. Look, we're all decorated for for autumn. Special promotion started. Nice. When did this game come out? I I, I want to say 2000 or 2001 ish. I don't have the box nearby, unfortunately, but I'll, I would have to look. But this is the first mall tycoon. Oh my gosh, there's people in. Suits dancing around. But look at how happy our customers look. Arcade's doing pretty good too, it looks like. That's good. Hot Dog on a Stick had the most shoppers this month. Sounds like Hot Dog on a Stick needs to give us some more money. Where is Hot Dog on a Stick? Is it this one? Yeah. I like the slot machine sound. <laughs> I wonder how you be able to, how how you get computer games as a Let's do novelties, because we're going to need... Oh, whoa, whoa, our, why why did our customers drop so much? That's not good. Let's see here, it's October. We want to do train rides in November. I want to see what that looks like in the mall. It's a Fiesta Mall's Black Friday event. Wow, it was... Oh, was it just... See your Sears, Bath and Body Works. I think Bath and Body Works is one of the... Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Train ride. So it's not a train ride around the mall. It's it's just right there in the atrium. And we're starting to get some good... We're going to need some coin back in the bank too, guys. That's good. Well, we are getting right around back to where we started, guys. We basically played about a year's worth of Mall Time and Mall Tycoon this stream. So, uh, um, the beeps are killing your ear. I'm sorry about that. I'll turn the game volume down a little bit next time. Um, yeah, we're getting close to have played about a year. Let me slow the time down a little bit. So, I think that's feasibly what we're going to be able to do about each stream is probably go through a year's worth of Mall Time. So, that's, that's good. But, uh, yeah, we're right back around to about Black Friday-ish time again, and we're running... Some cool promotions in our mall. We added a Wetzel's Pretzels this episode. And, uh, no, Fiesta Mall's not closed yet. It's, there's only, like, one entrance, I think, open into the mall. And then the Sears is there and the Dillard's Clearance Center is there. So, yeah, we added an, an did I say Wetzel's? We added an Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Sorry about that. That's what won the Twitter poll. Um, and then we also built a cool little nature which I see a lot of people using this entryway now with the benches and stuff but I think in the next episode if we have enough money we're gonna work on expanding this mall another level 
and then either possibly adding a restaurant or a movie theater. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But um, definitely follow the channel on Twitter. It's R-E-T underscore archaeology on Twitter. Um, that's where I run a lot of the polls to decide ahead of time things we're going to add to the mall, for example, which pretzel place, stuff like that. So definitely follow on Twitter and also subscribe if you're not already. And if you haven't watched the um, Papago Plaza video yet, check that out. That's a fun video. You'll understand the Heavenly Massage reference if you watch that. Anyways, here we are, guys. We're into December 2nd, so it's been about a year. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and wrap the stream up. Yeah, because that's actually, it looks like we've been streaming for about 45 minutes, so that's that's perfect. So if you just joined, don't worry. Um, in the next day or so, I'll have this um, posted back up on YouTube as a multi-coon episode. Uh, thank you, PsychoDawn904. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And have a good evening, Chris. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Have a good night.